Sylvester Stallone comes after Vietnam War, he's got all these anger issues, he tears apart the whole town, and they put him in jail. They cage the beast. That's classical yoga. I don't know if you're hanging with a metaphor or not. I'm crazy. Yeah? <laughs> but then Shiva meets this boy at the entrance of the cave to his mom, and the encounter changes the boy. The boy becomes Ganesh, right? He gets an elephant head. But then the encounter changes Shiva. He goes from an ascetic, like Michael, I'm sorry, to a householder, okay? Which is, you know, that Shiva becomes Nataraj, the, the dance of the householder, okay? But that encounter also changes yoga because the hidden code in Ganesh, Gara means groups. Gara means groups of beings. Like humans, we like to complicate in groups. There's a group here. You know, there's a convention for every bloody thing you can imagine, you know? So, Pati means controller. He's a controller of groups. So, guess what? Yoga, the satsangs are all done in groups now. The Bhakti, it's not a solitary pursuit anymore. So, the whole yoga is converted from the Pashupati, uh, individual ascetic pursuit of sadhus in caves. That's still going on. But it's vastly different. Even in India, they're doing it in groups now. They all, all want to be like Americans. <laughs> yeah? So when Patanjali wrote the Yoga Sutras in 200 BC, he didn't realize there are more people doing yoga in California than all of India right now. Yeah? So like the movie metaphor in the subsequent movie of Rambo, he doesn't deny those feelings. There's no Nirodaha. You can take these feelings of anger and all you have and channelize it to a higher cause. So he liberates war prisoners in uh, Afghanistan in the subsequent movies. That's yoga. The yoga is changing, is evolving as we speak. So Ganesh is really the patron saint of yoga, the new yoga. Okay? That's my theory, why he's so lovable. People just connect to Ganesh. So anything new you would do, like a new day, a new wedding, my beautiful friends here, Dean and Yafa, they got married five years ago at Bhakti Fest with the chapel behind. Yeah? And guess what? They got a beautiful Ganesh from me. And Dean works, and both of them work quite a lot with Hollywood Times. So if you Google Ganesha and Huffington Post, you'll see an article where he wrote a few months ago, in, I think December. On Ganesha, he writes, he writes a whole article in Huffington Post about Ganesha and John Goodman. And he puts a picture of his Ganesha and he put up, puts a picture of John Goodman. And they look pretty similar if you ask me. <laughs> and then in that picture he talks about this mudra. That's the mudra Ganesha has. The Abhaya. Where which basically means, you know, bhaya means fear, abhaya means he removes all fears. Says, chill, I got you covered, right? Yeah. So just like in the movie Big Lebowski, you know, John Goodman, this Vietnam vet, whose life is like chaotic and stuff is happening all around him, but he says in the movie, hey, not everything is left up inside, it's cool. That's his mudra, yeah, abhaya. Every Ganesh has a mouse. You see the mouse a little bit in the bottom? That's his vehicle, Vahana. So this big pot-bellied elephant dude rides on this little mouse. And what happens to the mouse when he does that? The mouse gets flattened, right? But symbolically, the mouse represents your mind. <coughs> because your mind wanders like the way the mouse campers. So when Ganesh rides on the mouse, he calms your wavering mind. And in your life, there have been instances where you're in a zone, things flow, you don't sense obstacles. So the real obstacles are not out there, they're within you. That's vrittis or fluctuations of the mind. That's the secret how he removes obstacles. He's considered Vigneshwara, the lord of obstacles. Sometimes he puts obstacles. 